Hey everyone, this is Jeff from Metal Guy Reacts, back to bring you another reaction video. Today I'm going to be checking out another Tom McDonald song. This is Brainwashed. Now I'm real stoked to check this out. His stuff as usual is always just, it just cuts right through. He's always just speaking some awesome truths. And I, you know, I say it in every single video of his, I watch. I think he's trying to continue conversation, get people talking, and honestly call out hypocrisies wherever and whenever he sees them. So that's what I assume this one's gonna be a little bit about. I assume brainwash might have media connotations or associations. So let's jump into this. This is Tom McDonald doing brainwashed. Half the country fell asleep, but they scream woke. We're distracted by vaccines and TV shows. Politics, celebrity gossip, popular neat quotes. Black lives, white lives, which lives mean most? We only dedicate one day to remember our fallen soldiers, the men and women who died young. But if you come out the closet as Caitlyn Jenner, you're a hero and you get a whole pride month. The most dangerous pandemic's propaganda from these clowns. Only mass that's gonna save us is duct tape on their mouths. Don't speak. We don't need to defund police, need to defund the media who lies through their teeth. Like big pharma doesn't cure you, dog. Cause every patient that gets cured is a customer lost. And big oil runs the world. The only wars that get fought are with the countries who have natural resources they want. Heard him claiming if a white man braids his head. You know, he's calling out the media right away. He's done this before, but one thing that's awesome is that he's calling out some stuff that everybody keeps talking about, everybody keeps thinking about. And ah god, yeah. I've said this before. He just, he packs in so many lines so quickly, but everything he just said was about media and about misinformation. At least to me, that's the, the big picture of what he's talking about. Are with the countries who have natural resources they want. Heard him claiming if a white man braids his hair and likes rap, he's appropriating culture. But if a white man acts too white, he's white trash. He's a racist, he's a bigot, he's a monster. Let's just have the conversation. Not every liberal is dumb, not all Republicans are racist. The government wants every... Not every liberal is dumb and not every Republican's racist. He's calling out the polarization. He's done this before too, but he's doing it so smoothly in rap. He's calling out that, yeah, and then he also said too, if I braid my hair and listen to rap, then I'm appropriating. But if I, you know, just just do what a white person's supposed to do, I don't even know what that means, um, or what the lyric was he said. Uh, but like, then he's just white trash racist, so you can't, hey, you lose either way. Not every liberal is dumb, not all Republicans are racist. The government wants everybody fighting with their neighbors because they know that if we get along, we'll probably go against them. They can't stop us because we're ready to fight. Try to brainwash us, but we won't let freedom die. The whole world's brainwashed. Everybody pick a team, start a riot in the streets. The whole world's brainwashed. It's us against them, it ain't you against me. How did monkeys become people? I, you know, he packs in so many amazing lines. I, I'm going to have to save him for the end because he's blowing my mind. And I'm, I'll take 25 minutes to react to every line he just said. Oh, my God. Uh, it's against them. It ain't you against me. How did monkeys become people and people turned into sheep? They put fluoride in the water that's keeping us all asleep. Claim they want what's best for us. I find it hard to believe because they've been selling us cigarettes since we was 18. Fake news, fake woke, distract and divide. You're either right or you're left or you're black or you're white. Big tech don't need a microchip to hack in your life because the phone inside your pocket is a tracking device. And I don't know what I'm all sick of. Rappers or Joe Biden looking like he ate 100 Xanax for dinner. Because censoring the president and kicking him off Twitter is a bigger threat to freedom than foreign belief. Missiles. You don't trust the police or the government, but you want people giving up their right to own a firearm. Why would you be comfortable if police and the government the only people on the planet with the right to buy a gun? White privilege getting amplified. To I have for many years been a big advocate of the Second Amendment and honestly, wholeheartedly for people that are minorities, LGBT, things like that. Any group that has been oppressed historically should always have the right to defend themselves. Oh, man. And so he said, why would you give up all your guns so that only the police and government have them? God. And again, he's saying stuff that I don't think is all that controversial. He's just pointing out these hypocrisies. He's pointing out the polarization. Government, the only people on the planet with the right to buy a gun. White privilege getting amplified to reinforce the vision. It convinces white people that they're favored by their skin and black people getting angry because they're told they're treated different. So the conflict is between us and never with the system. Let's just have the conversation. 
Not every liberal is dumb, not all Republicans are racist. The government wants everybody fighting with their neighbors because they know that if we get along, we'll probably go against them. That's the line. If if we continue fighting against each other, then we'll never see that it's the government. I don't know, man. Government wants everybody fighting with their neighbors because they know that if we get along, we'll probably go against them. They can't stop us because we're ready to fight, trying to brainwash us. But we won't let freedom die. The whole world's brainwashed. Everybody pick a team, start a riot in the streets. The whole world's brainwashed. It's us against them, it ain't you against me. Step one, train the people only to consume. Step two, infiltrate adults with the news. Step three, indoctrinate the children through the schools and the music and the apps on the phones that they use. Step four, separate the right from the left. Step five, separate the white from the black. Step six, separate the rich from the poor. Use religion and equality to separate them more. Step seven, fabricate a problem made a lie. Step eight, put it on the news every night. Step nine, when people start to fight and divide, take control. This is called situation design they can't stop us cause we're ready to fight trying to brainwash us but we won't let freedom die the whole world's brainwashed everybody pick a team start a riot in the streets the whole world's brainwashed it's us against them it ain't you against me As I looked up the lyrics too, it actually said that hit, that this hit the Billboard charts, and some of his other songs have too. That's crazy because he's all you know self-produced. That's a big factor too. I think that he has a lot of freedom to say what he wants because he's self-produced. He doesn't have to answer to a record company, producers, lawyers, ninety other people before saying what he wants to say. This again, as so many of his songs do, are calling out hypocrisy, calling out division. And he went through a list. He literally went through a list with the different steps. And that just gave me goosebumps all over my body. I mean, holy shnikes, that was good. One thing that, I, you know, at least a little bit of insight I have into all of this is that over the years I've worked in television and film in different capacities. And one big thing I noticed is that I had a lot of friends that have worked in news and, in you know, in media. And they have a saying in the media world, which is if it bleeds, it leads. And what that means is if they have a depressing story, they're always going to push it ahead. If there's a catastrophe, they always push it ahead. And there's a lot of psychological data to back that up because humans are something like 10 times more likely to avoid pain than to seek pleasure. So it's a survival instinct. We do that so that we can actually survive as humans. But the news and media totally takes advantage of that because they understand that. So if they want to sell ads in between their news for a lot of money and they need a lot of viewers to do that, they're going to sell horrible, horrible stuff happening. Even when lots of good stuff happens, they're not going to sell you that because it's just it doesn't sell as well. You know, figuring out all the positive stuff and the wonderful stuff that happens in the world just doesn't sell ad time. And that's a big part of what he's been calling out here, separating people from, you know, uh, white to black, rich to poor. Um, I, I The other thing I think he called out, too, is just as he's staring at those televisions, he started turning some of them off. We are, you know, just hit with news faster than we've ever been hit it in our lives. It's not even down to the to the hour. It's not even down to the like minute. It's down to the second you can get updated on news. Humans are not supposed to be able to handle that. And I have relatives that I think are just, you know, they have gone way too far over the deep end with news. They are hyper informed where there's a difference between being well informed on big issues that matter and voting and doing things to actually change that. And then just being hyper informed about every single thing that happens. And an example I can use of that again for the news is that I remember hearing that when back in the 90s, there was this little girl that was tragically killed uh, and, and people that are my age will probably remember was JonBenet Ramsey and she was murdered and it was this horrific thing. 
Um, and then after that, so many parents became super paranoid about their children, about thinking they were going to get kidnapped, they were going to get murdered. And in the years after that, the numbers stayed the same for the same number of children that went missing and were killed. They stayed the same. And actually, I think what I remember hearing was that they kind of went down. But the news media sold so much ad time convincing parents that they needed to do all this other stuff. When really at the end of the day, the odds were still about the same that a tragedy would happen to you like that. But because the media sold it and everybody bought it, 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 it changed everybody's perception. So he's talking about the brainwashing that's going on. And I think it's it happens on both sides. It happens, it happens to Republicans, it happens to liberals, it's happening to everybody. We need to do better sifting through all this information and deciding what's important and what's not and how we can attack that because it's just, hyper information god this is a great piece he, he knocked out of the park again i actually don't think a lot of what he says is all that controversial i think he again with every line you read through this he points out something and then he points out a hypocrisy or he'll point, point out kind of the opposite to it and show you that like you know the, to, to question what you're hearing question what you're thinking so really really dug this tune from tom mcdonald if there's more of his you want me to react to add it to the comments below i've got a couple more of his new ones to queue up here i think he just released like two albums at once which is absolute insanity because this guy is just becoming so prolific putting out material um but yeah if there's something specific you want me to check out uh check or see my playlist at the end i'll put a little card at the end you can click on of this video uh, so you can see my whole playlist of what i've reacted to of his so far if there's anything I haven't that I need to jump on, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm checking out his stuff, other rap, hip hop, K-pop. You know, it's all sorts of stuff I haven't checked out being a heavy metal and hard rock fan mostly. And I will catch all of you in the next reaction video.